Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 111 and today we're going to be looking at some new amazing add-ons that are taking advantage of the new Blender features. If you are like me, you are always out there looking for some new exciting stuff like add-ons and workflows to improve how you work. And Blender being a software that is always changing and evolving, add-on developers are also doing the same, trying to take advantage of the new features and looking for ways to make them even better with their own twist. Today we are going to look at such add-ons that are taking advantage of new features in Blender. Number one, we have Higsas Geometry Nodes toolset. If you think Geometry Nodes is the future, then you are in agreement with a lot of people, including myself. But Geometry Nodes is no joke, you have to do everything from scratch, even things you have already done in previous projects. You have to redo them in new projects. It can be stressful, but you can stop stressing with Higas geometry nodes tool set. This set of geometry nodes node groups extend the functionality of geometry nodes and gives you a pack of nodes or templates that are going to improve how you work. One of the best assets it comes with is the geometry nodes deformers that you can use to bend, twist, screw any meshes. Other gems included in the pack are the line tracer that traces any image into a curve or this testlet node group that converts any mesh into a threaded weaved mesh. There are a lot of nodes included, so check it out yourself. Links are in the description. At number two, we have the hair brick add-on. Another new feature of Blender that has been prominent other than geometry nodes is the new hair system. The hair brick add-on takes full advantage of this and improves how you can create hair in Blender, bringing you a range of presets so that you are always halfway done when you start working with hair. And we also have Memory Optimizer. Are you tired of the computer out of memory error every time you want to render something? This add-on by Polygonic is here to save you render time and frustration. Out of memory errors are most of the time caused by having too many large image textures in your scene. The bigger the images, the more memory they take up until you run out. To solve this, you can use smaller resolution images, but that will affect the quality of your renders significantly. What Memory Saver does, you can use any texture sizes, but it will dynamically prioritize objects closer to the camera, render them at full size while scaling down textures that are far from the camera or occluded and away from the camera view. Number three, we have the Moss Biome Ground Asset Kit. If detail is what you want, then you won't skip out on checking out Moss Biome. It's a nature asset kit containing about 79 different variants of nature assets fitting into a mossy biome. They can be useful for close-up shots of nature environments. It's not just highly detailed models that are impressive, but how they work together to create a realistic looking ecosystem. The assets can also be scattered using the, the scatter add-on. If you want to see more amazing renders of this biome, check out the links in the description. <music> Number four, we have the free column generator. If you're running low on your monthly add-on budget, take a break from spending and grab yourself this free stone column generator by Bagapad. You can get it, dissect its node to learn more about geometry nodes and the different ways creators use it to make amazing projects. Number five, we have Kafaya. Do you hate fire simulations because of how unpredictable they are? Then Kafaya is an add-on you are going to, to enjoy. It's an add-on for those who want to get results in a few clicks. Kafaya gives you an interface and controls for you to, to take charge of your fire and smoke simulations. What I love most about this add-on is how you have these arrows that can control and direct the explosions. You can also play with the timing of each emitter to create a more realistic explosion. The add-on is well documented for those of you who want full customization, but for others like me, you can just select a number of templates and you are good to go. It also works with Kaboom, which is another add-on by the same creator. You can't really call yourself a VFX artist if you can't make a destruction effect. Most movies, animations, or action films always have a shot where an object is destroyed. So it would be nice to have a quick way to accomplish something like that without frustrating out and fighting with the inbuilt cell fracture. That tool you need is the Fracture Iterator. This add-on has been around for about two years, but just got a major update and I think you will enjoy it if you are a VFX artist. We also have Procedure Fluid Simulator. This fluid simulation add-on 
works on surfaces like textures and images and you can use it to make, make amazing reveal effects and transitions and you don't need a powerful computer to use it. These are some of the amazing add-ons that I think are taking full advantage of new features like geometry nodes, simulation nodes, the new Python API and other features. Take a look at them. I hope you find them useful. Thank you.